Good day kids welcome to my YouTube channel. For today's video, our lesson is about subtraction of fractions with borrowing. But before we start, take a look at this conversion. It says that one whole is equivalent to fractions with the same numerator and denominator or vice versa. Now, let's start with subtracting fraction from whole number. For example, the given is 5 minus 6 sevenths. In subtraction of fractions, we have to do it like fraction to fraction and whole number to whole number. So in case of 5 minus 6 sevenths, we have to rename our whole number as mixed number because obviously we cannot subtract or proceed unless we have a fraction for our minuend. To do that, we have to borrow 1 from 5, and 5 now becomes 4. The one whole that we borrow will now become 7 sevenths. The fraction of our whole number should be base on the denominator of the other fraction, so we could make like fraction. Now, let's subtract. For takeaway nothing is 4. Then 7 sevenths minus 6 sevenths is 1 seventh. Therefore the difference of 5 minus 6 sevenths is 4 and 1 seventh. Next is subtracting fraction from mixed number with similar denominators. 8 and 1 ninth minus 4 ninths. As you can see, the fraction in our mixed number or minuend is not enough to subtract the other fraction. So what we will do is we will borrow one whole from 8 and 8 now becomes 7. The one whole that we borrow is equal to 9 ninths, which we will add to 1 ninth. Why 9 ninths? It is because the common denominator is 9. Then let's add 7 and 1 9 plus 9 ninths is 7 and 10 ninths. Now, we can continue and start solving. 7 take away nothing is 7 and 10 ninths minus 4 ninths is 6 ninths. Remember to always simplify your answer to its lowest term. Therefore, the final answer is 7 and 2 thirds. But there is a simplest way to solve this problem. All you have to do is borrow 1 from 8 then add the denominator with the numerator. And let the denominator stay as it is. This will give you a same result as before which is 7 and 10 ninths. From there, you can see that the fraction in the minuend is enough to subtract the other fraction. Then start solving. This method is applicable only if they are similar fraction. In case of dissimilar fraction, we have to make it first a like fraction. Example. 6 and 1 15th minus 5 and 2 thirds. First, we have to get the LCD of both fractions or LCM of both denominators to make like fractions. The LCM of denominators 15 and 3 is 15. If you want to know how did I get 15 as LCM or LCD, you can check my other video about this. Now, let's continue. Start by copying the whole number, then rewrite the fractions using our LCM or LCD. Divide the LCM by the denominator and multiply the answer by the numerator. 15 divided by 15 is 1. 1 times 1 is 1. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 2 is 10. Before we proceed, take a look at the first fraction. Is it enough to subtract the other fraction? If not, borrow 1 from the whole number. 6 becomes 5. Then just like before we will just simply add the denominator and the numerator. 1 plus 15 is 16. Now, as you can see our fraction is enough to subtract the other one, so let's continue. 5 minus 5 is 0 and 16 fifteenths minus 10 fifteenths is 6 fifteenths. Again, always reduce your answer to its lowest term. Thus, the final answer is 2 fifths. If you have any questions about this topic or topic that you want to discuss, comment down below. There you have it, I hope you've learned something today. If you like our discussion, click like and subscribe.
Thank you, and see you again next time.